Well, this morning uh, we learned that in October our business has added 209,000 new jobs. Uh, the unemployment rate fell again. Uh, our private sector has now added 10.6 million new jobs uh, over the last 56 months, and this is the uh, strongest job growth that we have seen uh, since the 1990s. And all this is a testament to the hard work and resilience of the American people. Uh, they have uh, been steady and strong, digging themselves out of the worst economic crisis uh, since the Great Depression. And what we need now to do is make sure that we build on this momentum, because we recognize that despite the solid growth, despite the drop in unemployment, there's still a lot of folks out there uh, who are anxious about their futures, uh, who are having trouble. Uh, Megan ends meet at the end of the month, or saving for their kids' college education, or uh, being able to make sure that uh, they're able to retire with dignity and respect. And so everything that we do uh, over the next two years is designed and geared towards ensuring that folks who work hard in this country uh, are able to get ahead. Now, obviously, we've had uh, a significant midterm election. Uh, as I said at the press conference, uh, my attitude has been and will continue to be that Good ideas uh, don't necessarily come from just one party, and I'm looking forward to seeing the leaders uh, of both Democratic uh, and Republican caucuses this afternoon uh, to have a chance to share with them uh, both what I think we need to be doing to build on the economic momentum that we already have uh, and make it even stronger. Uh, but I'm also going to be interested in listening uh, to them in terms of areas where we think uh, it's possible to work together.